I'm on the right track. Coyote? Hold on. I'll get you out of there. No. Don't come closer. She... she's still here. Lurking in the dark. A shoe. The woods brought you to this world. And I'll take you out of it. Come on. Come here. Closer. Doesn't look good. Tell my father it's not his fault and that I love him. Pass away in peace, child. May the ferryman show you mercy. I have to deliver the bad news to Lysander. should never have to bury their child. Malaka. It's been a while since I've seen a shrine.
Where's Coyote? She's dead. Dead? I, I don't believe you. I've reached the lair of a she-wolf. I killed the beast, but Coyote's wounds were too severe. There was nothing more I could do. Tell me. Did she suffer? She passed away peacefully. She said that it wasn't your fault. And that she loved you. You took her away, goddess of the hunt. The most precious thing in my life. Why did you take her and not me? I don't know what it's like to lose a daughter, but... I once lost my entire unit. Those were the best men a commander could wish for. The only thing keeping me alive is the goal. A new goal. I turned grief into strength that leads me... Tell me, what kind of a goal? Who the father of a deceased daughter. Something terribly wrong is happening in this realm. Take these hides. Sell them. Use them. I got these dumb hides. But at what price? Time to get back to the smith. These are the heights from Lysander. <laughs> Good job. During the hunt, I had a feeling. Lysander, you did. I heard that you got yourself into some trouble again. The master sent me to search for a very durable raw material. I asked around and a certain former friend told me I can find it in the ruins near Mycenae. No sooner had I gone inside than a scorpion jumped on me. A huge, ugly one. I barely made it out alive. Do you always have to wander around ruins and wake huge scorpions up? Ah. Where will I find it? In a rocky canyon near the fishing spot. Surely you'll find it. When you take care of him, bring me a few pieces of its armor. They may come in handy for Master's new project. It's been a while since I've seen a shrine. Ha! This'll be easier than I thought! Somebody help! Suck your tail and run. Something big must happen.
must be on the right track. out. These gardens used to be Now only shadows stroll through them. This monstrosity must have hidden deep down.
been a while since I've seen a shrine. <laughs> See him, boys. <laughs> The scorpion is no more. Thanks. You've saved my life for the second time already. If that monstrosity wandered off here, I don't even want to think about what it would do to me. I see you managed to get armor pieces from that monster. Take them to my master. He'll know what to do with them. You'll find him in our new workshop, not far from here. I almost forgot. Take these few trinkets as a token of my gratitude. I'm sure they will be of more use to you than me. I see you've made yourself quite comfortable here. <sighs> that old hellhole was no longer good for anything. These are scorpion armor pieces, and not just any. They'll be useful for the plan I concocted. Plainly speaking, you'll go to Menelaus' residence in disguise. <laughs> disguise? Perhaps I shall dress up as a horse as well. <laughs> That's not such a stupid plan. But I have a better one. Menelaus is looking for a new henchman for his crew. But he won't admit to anyone. Especially not someone flaunting Myrmidon armor. I'll make you armor that will evoke awe and respect among his soldier boys. I'm certain you will get inside easily with it. It will take me a moment, but I promise you that the result will be worthwhile. Well, come on. Try it on. Tough as Cyclops skin. Huh. Fits me perfectly. Why did you choose a scorpion for the symbol? That was Furtus' idea. I think he just wanted to return the favor. Besides, he could- Thank you. That is truly a unique gift. I must now head forth. When you stand before Menelaus, remember that he's no more than the raging dog on Agamemnon's leash. It was the king's decisions that drowned Greece in blood. I will make Menelaus sing, and his brother will suffer the same fate. 
Good luck, boy. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. See him, boys? <laughs> I think I can... Oh. 